Hey guys, it's Todd here. Welcome to Downfall Zombies. So yes, this is a zombies map based off of the ending of Downfall, the campaign mission of World of War. So yeah, this is right at the end of the mission, right before you go into the place. You might even go in it, I don't... Who knows if this entire area is playable, I mean, that would be pretty cool. It might be, I never played it before, but the starting room is here, so if this is unlocked... No, if that area... You can go in here, but I don't know if you can go over there. So we'll find out as we're going along. So it said it had BO1 knifing, so... No, it said no lunge. That's what it meant by BO1 knifing, so here, hang on. Yeah, so it got rid of that knife launcher, you just go... Psh, psh. So you only go like this now. Alright, yeah, that could be... Yeah, that's... That's the superior form of knifing. Alright. So... Oh, I was about to say, where are, are there any wall guns here? Yes, there's one here. I really like it when, you know, people take multiplayer and uh, can oh, cool. and campaign maps and they turn it into a zombie map. That's cool. Or it must be activated. Just an MP40 in there. What else am I missing? You get over here. No, you can't go over here because there's just nothing in this. And what's behind door number one? A trench gun. And... Alright. Oh, speak hola. Alright. No guns. Oh, I can buy this door. Which leads to here. Which I'm assuming... I can't... I can't do some sick parkour. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I was laying on top of that. Alright, anyway. I mean, I could. I, pr I mean, I really do need a gun. Let's take this. Yeah, I'm just knifing anyway, but whatever. Wouldn't it be cool if Future Cod Zombies games had this feature where you could add it where if you could want to see how long you had, like, the little timer on the bottom here, like, for it's to kill? That would be pretty cool to have. Like, you could, like, imagine being able to customize your HUD. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Be able to customize your HUD. Then there could be like zombie specific options like with it it uh drops, you can see you can add like a little timer to see how long it's gonna last. That would be Oh a mystery box. So that's what's after that door by the Thompson, okay. Really? Locked. Huh. Oh. I don't think the power would destroy us all. I'm pretty sure it'll keep the fridge running. So it'll keep the food cool. And this store's gonna... Yeah, alright. Bin, 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 bin. This is just like on... Nocturne and Tolte. You get on this little ledge here. Like a Nocturne and Tolte. I'm, ass I'm assuming they're gonna be able to hit me, though. I'm, g I'm gonna do a test. But if I die, then... Uh, it doesn't matter that much. I'm only around four. Alright. Are you able to hit me? God, I didn't give him a chance. I did not give him a chance, even. Oh, God. Oh, come on! I didn't actually want to die. And this door goes... Is this just gonna be like a one-way path map? I'm just gonna... Is it just gonna be a straight line I'm going in to get to every new area? That's what it feels like. Is this gonna take me back here? Please tell me. Oh, yes, it does. Wait, so is that the whole map? Can't be the whole map. No, it says shoot three teddy bears to access pack a punch. So, yeah, there still is pack a punch. At least I gotta figure out where to go for that. I found a secret teddy. Wait, I didn't shoot. Wait, what did I shoot? I found a secret teddy. Okay, well, so they could be in the barriers. That's a place to look. Okay. Oh, there's a teddy bear. Oh, I was just. A yeah, okay, I got him anyway. Oh, whoa, hi. I did not realize there were so many of you guys left. Hey, I did not re Sorry, I didn't know I left the train. Whoopsie doopsie. Don't worry, I'll get you guys next time. You don't have to go wandering around like a bunch of stupids. Anyway, so <laughs> there's only one more teddy bear left. I'm assuming it's not going to be that difficult. I already found one on accident just by shooting in a barrier. Trying to kill a zombie, but I got a teddy bear instead. And two, there's that one right there. 
So as long as I just pay attention, I could be able to get it. And throwing grenades will help. Oh. Oh, there it was. I actually did that all on my own. Alright, I unlocked a secret door. I don't know where that is. Speed Cola apparently also makes the barriers repair faster. Yeah, a little bit, okay. Oh! This is a big area. Wow, I unlocked a huge area. Oh, there's Pack-a-Punch. And there we go. I think that's the whole thing right here. Yep, cannot do anything in here. It's just a big open barrier. Well, that's... Oh! 50,000! Alright. Well, there's the goal, guys. 50,000 points. I unlocked Downfall. I wish I could make custom zombies maps. It'd be cool to take already existing either zombie maps or campaign maps and turn them into something cool like this, where you can just turn a campaign map into a zombies map. That would just be amazing. Hold on a minute. Someone did a history of the <laughs> M1 Grand slash M14 in Call of Duty. Now wait just one minute. The M1 Grand and M14 are two totally different guns. I mean, to start off with, I mean, they look a lot different, both of them. Second thing, the M1 Grand has a clip that comes out of the top, and not the bottom, like the M14. Alright, this is not an M14. I just want to say that it may have damage similar to an M14, but it is not the M14. That's why we have the MX Grand in Black Ops 3, and then we have the actual M14. I feel like this is the strategy right here. It's kind of train around this area. I feel like this is going to be a good strategy. I can... I just cannot wait for Black Ops Cold War to introduce officially made viable endings. And they're going to be just different than just once you get up 50,000 points or however much, then, you know, it's over when you buy it. No, they're going to have like an extraction zone or whatever. So that's going to be cool. It's gonna be like a Bible ending extended. Don't die there. Jeez, that that is what you call a clutch play right there. And this may also be a good training area. Down here, I mean there's a lot of space here I can run around with and screw around with. Whoa. Maybe some tight spots every once in a while, but there's a strategy. It's, training spots, so I mean, whatever, oh, whoa, you zombies are not looking so good. <laughs> Here, take some of these grenades, it'll help with your, uh, diabetes. Is it possible to train in this back area? I'm trying to get back to the start of the map, not going quite fast enough. There, back here. Oh yeah, this, this is definitely big enough, yeah, this is definitely, yeah, th this has got to be a good a decent train area. I mean, this is the starting room. I wonder if it's all Call of Duty Water War maps where there are only 24 zombies per round, or if it. And by all of them, I don't mean custom maps because I'm pretty sure custom maps can take care of that. But at least the, the like the original, the, the normal four maps, like Knock Their Totem and the other DLCs. I wonder. That that I. I that's definitely twenty more, definitely more than twenty-four zombies per round in this map from here. So that was just kind of that nuke and the crowd there. That was probably at least thirty. Let's hear the last guy, but you are not. Okay, so apparently, really on Varuk too. Huh? On Ver even yeah. So every map before Darius on Cody Water War has a maximum of twenty-four zombies per round, but then in the rest of the games, and yeah, every other Call of Duty so far, it's like 24 zombies at a time. So, yeah, I mean, the number 24 zombies is still being used, but just not as the whole round, just as a group. So, yeah, I'm assuming, yeah, people, there must be an option in custom maps that allow you to 
use the 24 zombie limiter now for round. And I'm assuming people turn it off because. Oh. In maps like these, that would be. I mean, I guess I. I don't know. I mean, I prefer it that way. You can get a lot more points and then a lot more done in the map instead of having to go to the right round. Like. 40 to get up to 50,000 points for all your upgraded guns as well and perks and then be able to get the ending because I'm around 13 now and I'm past halfway there now. How many zombie maps in the history of Cody Zombies are remade from either a campaign map or a multiplayer map? So I know Nocturne Totem and word of words literally used in every single mode is it is uh, a little building in you gotta go through in the campaign. In multiplayer, it's part of a map. Then zombies, it is the entire map. So, and then and then Nocturne Tones is also used in Black Ops One as a remaster, and then Black Ops Two in Transit. Black Ops Three also as a remaster, and then now it's gonna be coming back in Black Ops Cold War as part of a as just a section of a map. So I think Nocturne Tones is probably the most used map in Cody history. And then there's Nuketown for Black Ops 1, but then it came back in Black Ops 2, which added Nuketown Zombies, and then, you know, Nuketown was also in Black Ops 3, as just a multiplayer map, and then Nuketown was in Black Ops 4 as a multiplayer map and Zombies, so I would say, let's see, let me do the math in my head to see if Nocturne Toten has been used more times, or if Nuketown has. So, unless, so, including Cold War Zombies, jeez, Nuketown has been made into seven different uses. In Call of Duty so far, seven different times Nocturne Don't Disappear, and that's counting every time it's in a different game mode that counts as a separate instance, and that goes with Nuketown as well. So, unless Nuketown is gonna be back in Black Ops Cold War, which I I hope it does, and I bet it will come back. Uh, Nocturne Don't has seen seven appearances by now, and, and counting the Cold War trailer for zombies, and then. Nuketown's only seen six so far, so because we don't know if there's gonna be Nuketown in multiplayer, we're not gonna know if there's gonna be that seventh instance of Nuketown. But yeah, Nocturne Tony Nuketown the most used maps in quality history, I'm pretty sure. And there is my fifty thousand points. I just got it's to kill double points. Killed a whole crowd with a grenade, and then boom, fifty thousand, just like that. Ain't that great. I could end this now if we really wanted to. A look at this pack of punch camel. This is a great one. Is that the Doris one? I have no idea if this is the Doris pack of punch camel or not, but I think it is. It looks pretty cool. Some camels of Cody there just so good. <laughs> the flamethrower. I almost want to get it for the fun of it, but I don't know how much longer I want to do this. I mean, I want to have fun, but I also don't want to die because I feel like I'm gonna. I'm just about to die. I think. Just for it to be an even number, I think I'm gonna go up to round 20, and then I'm gonna end the game. Just so you know, I don't play on too long. Also, so then I also got, I also got my teachers also probably post something new for school today. So yeah, that's I also gotta get to that. Uh oh, uh oh, no, no, I just refuse to go down to that. I refuse to go down to that. And do a whole nother game to get up to this point. I refuse. I refuse. I will not have that happen to me. Just sit here and then just one shot these zombies. Just pew, 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 pew. Oh, I missed. You. There you go. Got him. <laughs> pew, pew. One shot. Is it to the chest? No, it, it, it's just. Yeah, it's just. To the, if you shoot him in the leg, it'll take three. Interesting. Headshot multipliers really are effective in zombies. I can tell right now. All right, let's call in reinforcements. I beat the game in 20 rounds. Yep, you saw it. Me, the man who beat Downfall in 20 rounds or 21 because it just turned into that. I guess if that's what you want to consider. So. Yeah, I don't know how I found that first teddy bear. I was just shooting randomly through a barrier to kill a zombie, and then it just said secret teddy bear found. I was like, whoa, okay. But yeah, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there, there's no custom weapons or anything. Like, this is just a... Oh my god. This is so zoomed in now. God, this feels so weird, playing zoomed in like this. 
This is so zoomed in for me. Thank you all for watching. Give this vid a liking. Go subscribe for much more. Comments I don't ignore. And post notifications.